Hey, how you doing? Johnny Grooms here, and today I'm gonna be talking about micro needling. Seems that there was a micro needling phase that surged about a couple years ago, and it was on YouTube, and it's starting to come back. I've started to see um, ads like this one come up, and um, just want to touch a little bit on it. The process of micro needling with these uh, derma rollers, um, basically it's this. It's a roller, has a bunch of needles on it, you roll it on your skin, it's supposed to pierce down into the skin and make uh, little holes in your face that will boost the body's natural healing ability which will boost the amount of uh, active red blood cells to the area and produce collagen, which would aid in some hair growth if you're doing it for your beard and heal any scars or if you have acne or something like that. That's the whole idea behind that. What I'm also reading online, um, it was an article on the Women's Health uh, website. Lady in question, she did it two tries and she was done. Um, apparently, Adam... It caused some markings on her face, and she could, didn't want to continue. I'll post a link to this article down below. Granted, it is in 2017, so two years later, 2019, the derma rollers may be better. They may be longer needles. Maybe when they came out in 2017, the needles weren't long enough. That's another thing that I read, too, that the, the at-home derma, derma rollers... The needles are not long enough to pierce the skin properly. So all you're doing is you're puncturing unnecessary holes in your face. And if those holes get infected, then you have a big problem on your hands. So if you want to look into this, I would highly suggest talking to a dermatologist, a proper doctor. And maybe you can get a process like this done. All right. I don't know what that was. But that's not that's not micro needling. <laughs> that's major skin needling. It looked very painful. <laughs> if you're interested in doing it, definitely consult the doctor first. Don't buy an at-home roller and try to do it. You don't know the length of the needle that you need. Um, you don't know if you're going to be causing yourself unnecessary pain and possibly give yourself a, a skin infection and making your problems worse if you're trying to do it for... Um, acne or scars or something like that and you trying to heal the skin you may be making yourself much worse off if you do want to do this at home because you're taking what I'm telling you with a giant grain of salt and you don't believe me um, or you don't believe the article that I'm gonna link down below please 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 do some research on the roller you're gonna buy you don't want to buy a cheap one where the needle will break off inside your face. They have really cheap rollers on Amazon. Definitely do your homework, research it out, check the reviews. Still talk to a doctor. I can't stress that enough to talk to a dermatologist, talk to a doctor. And make sure what you're getting is, is high quality, is good quality. You're not gonna, that's the last thing you need. Last thing you need is a metal needle broken in and it's in your skin and it's a they're small needles you know it's called micro needling for a reason back to that commercial that I linked earlier I'm gonna play the ending for you because I'm, I, I know I only played a little bit of it I'm gonna show you the rest of it because the very last bit of that commercial uh, you'll see There was no reason for her to give that man the finger. He didn't even he didn't even raise his eyebrows at her. All he did was look at her and all because she's with a man with a beard, she has the right to give the finger to some stranger who was just sitting there enjoying a drink. All right, that'll be it for today. If you like the content of the video, like and subscribe. And I will catch you on the next one. Later.